Thank you. I wanted to shut that off. Uh, my name is Paul Rosali, 665 Marine Circle, Maplefield, Rhode Island. I'll be speaking on behalf of the Marlboro Land Trust. I wanted to shut that off to save some energy. <laughs> Director Curran, Director Coy, Director Agarwal, thank you. Sincerely, thank you. I'm not going to make a joke. I'm not going to make any snide remarks. Thank you for your time and energy. I know you have. Go ahead. I know you have full-time jobs, and all of a sudden, in this past two years, you've had an additional full-time job. And I also want to thank Todd Bianco for doing all the things he's been doing, uh, posting uh, an enormous amount of information, making sure, we're, making sure we're legal in terms of getting three original paper copies and ten original paper copies to the, to the right people at the right time. It's hard to believe that this issue has been with us for uh, since the governor supported the Invenergy Project way back in August of 2015. But uh, I'll look at what the governor has done. I want to show you a picture of just what the governor has done. The governor and all of you have united all of these people. We've united all of these people because uh, of a sense of place, a sense of duty. And also because our institutions are agencies are being thrown, are being cut back, uh, budgets are being cut. You don't have the people power you once did. We're taking the place of those people. Uh, in spite of our emotions, in spite of our passion, our facts, our reason, our drive and diligence, we brought this me message of, a, of the end of uh, frack gas infrastructure all over the, all over the state of Rhode Island. Oh, by the way, uh, the Barnabas Land Trust will submit a petition to FERC and again to the EPA once and, and if ever we get a new director in Region 1 to make sure that all of these projects are submitted and unified as one project and this idea of an ins ins impermissible segmentation rule is applied. It's about time you look at this as one project. Everything that Invenergy wants, National Grid wants, Algonquin, Spectra, Enbridge are all put together because this is one project. Let's get back to being nice again for a second. In November 2015, the Land Trust started a series of informational workshops bringing this message uh, all over the state of Rhode Island. So, uh, on behalf of uh, the Horrible Land Trust, the trees and creatures all around us, and from all the folks here, here's what I have to say. Happy holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you for your time and your energy. Thank you also, and please believe me when I say this, thank you to the IDEW, to the unions, to the laborers, to the painters' unions. You've unified us more and more. We are our brothers and sisters. We're unified with them. There's also one other thing I'd like you to do. I want to invite you to our bake sale coming up soon. Where we need some money to buy some, buy some more bus ads for our, for, the, uh, for, our, uh, for our bus ads. I hope you can come to our chicken dinner in January because we need some more funds to get to the Conservation Law Foundation to help in their fight. Also, uh, uh, come to us in the, uh, later on in January or February with the Narragansett Indians because we want to provide them some money to help them with their fight as well. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for your time.